Hey y'all, and welcome back to my channel. Y'all look at this, look, look, look. It's going down, the swelling is going down finally, and it's not hurting anymore. But y'all, welcome to my channel, Maya Latrice, and this is just Maya. And yeah, as promised, I said I was going to um, talk about another topic later on this evening, which is later on tonight, because <laughs> I had some things to do, but here I am. And so tonight I wanted to talk about child support. I, I thought that would be a pretty good topic to talk about because it is something that is dis it's discussed, but then again, it's not. And I remember having a conversation with a couple of guys not too long ago, and they told me their different, their different perspectives on child support. And it was really interesting to me because I'm a divorcee, and my son's father is on child support, and I have my experience, but to hear theirs is, woo, it's, it's crazy. So... I just start off by telling my perspective on it. Um, my son's father is on child support, but when we got our divorce, the amount that the attorney was had calculated that he was supposed to pay per month was just absolutely to to me. It was just absolutely too much money. Absolutely too much money for one child. So what I decided to do, because I know he's a good father, and I know he's going to provide for him no matter what, we just wrote up a little um, agreement and had it notarized and everything, and we, we settled on a certain amount, which was much lower than what the uh, state was asking for. Now, that, that's, my, that's what I chose to do because I know you have to think about it. If he's going to be in the child's life regardless, you, you won't have to worry about your child being taken care of because anytime you call him he's going to make sure he if he can he got you so you know there's that that's my little spill on it i just feel like if i would have had him to pay all that money it would have put him in a bind to where he couldn't pay the money and then next thing you know he can't pay the money what's happening next he's going to have to go he's going he's going to have bad child support um, back, excuse me, he's going to have back pay and then he may get locked up. He get locked up. What's going to happen? He's going to lose his job. He's going to lose his license. Then he can't get a job. It's, it's just so many different things that happen. And I've heard this story so many times. And I think that women don't think about these things. They're so in their feelings and not really thinking logically. They're so caught up in their emotions and upset that the, the relationship didn't work. This, I mean, despite what he did, he might have cheated. Who knows? You might have was in the wrong. He might have was in the wrong. Whoever was in the wrong, it doesn't really matter. But I don't think that women really think about what it does to a man when the the child support when you're using child support in a bad way. I don't agree with child support being used as a retaliation method. Like I know I've heard of some stories where the guy wasn't on child support until he moved on completely. You know that that was really out of that spite. You put him on child support out of spite. Why would you do that when clearly you didn't have a problem with it before? He was taking care of your kid. As long as he would come see you and spend time with you, you was fine with it. You didn't have him on child support. But as soon as he got a girlfriend or a wife or what have you, you was pretty much, oh, I'm going to get him. No, I think that's completely wrong. You don't do nobody like that. You shouldn't do nobody like that. You shouldn't play with nobody money like that. And then think about it like this. A lot of good fathers say this. They was like, man, if she only knew, she, she would get more money out of me if she wouldn't have put me on child support. But now we're not thinking about that. But since, oh, they, they, that's, I've heard this. I've heard this before, ladies. I've heard it. They would say that, oh, since the court want to give me this much, this is exactly how much I'm going to give her. I'm not obligated to give her nothing else. And that's it. I've heard that before, but then I've heard the other end too. I've heard, you know, some some guys they just they say, you know, whatever. I pay this, and if she calls and needs something, I'm going to provide for my child. Hats off to you, and I agree with that. If that's your choice to do, then by all means do it. Cause I'm all cause the whole thing is for the child. Period. So as long as that child being provided for, I am game for it. But I really don't like how. Uh, some women are using the system to get back at men. I, I really don't like that. That's It's messed up. And then not only that, when you use the system to get back at men, I've seen situations to where 
These men love their child. I mean, love them to death, do anything for them. But because you giving them such a hard time, he can't spend time. He, he can't be around that child because he don't want to be around you. He don't want to deal with you, period. So now what you doing? You're calling him a, a what you call him? What is it? A no good daddy? A deadbeat dad. Now you're saying he's a deadbeat dad. But at first, he was doing what he was supposed to do, but you just kept giving him a hard time. You got to think about these men. They're human just like you. And you keep pressuring him and playing with his money and waving child support over his head and, and threatening him. That's a lot of stress. And not to mention, you got to think about there's a lot of things that men have to deal with just like women have to deal with. And you're just adding all this unnecessary stress for nothing because you're upset. So what some men do, some men, they spaz out, <laughs> go bonkers, you know, and, and, and do some stupid stuff. Some men, they just leave it alone. You just go away and just no, just not be in the child's life at all. And then you have some men, they, they, go, they go about it the right way, go through the courts. I've even heard stories of men somehow getting custody of the kids. And now the shoe was on the other foot. And guess what happened? He didn't put her on child support. I've heard I've heard so many different stories, man. I just I really don't like how the system is being used to be like a, a re, used as a retaliation method. I think that is so wrong. Now, if you if you if you're using the money to make sure that the, um your child is straight and i because we talked about this too as far as paying bills and stuff like light bill and stuff like that hey that child needs heat that child needs <laughs> electricity that child needs air that child it, that i believe that child support can help pay for that and i know some some people will argue with me but this is just my opinion i don't see anything wrong with it i see nothing wrong with it and then uh, you know also some others out there they'll say you know Oh, well, you know, it, it's none of your business what I do with my child support. If I want to get my nails done, I'll go get my nails done. If I want to get my hair done, I'll go get my hair done with this child support. That's your prerogative. But um, my personal opinion is, okay, if you want to say that, you better make sure that everything that child needs is taken care of with that money before you go and get your hair and your nails done because there should be no reason especially as high as i know georgia good god uh like how much they say per child is it's just a lot from what from my experience what i was told i don't know what you guys were told um that should be well over enough money to to make sure that that child is, is taken care of plus it and then on top of that to have money left over to put in a little savings account that's what i do for my baby he has like a little savings account any extra money that comes from that child support which is none because we came to a settlement uh, like an agreement and it wasn't that much but if he do if i do ever have some money left over i will put in his little his little stash but that's just me um i just wanted to talk about child support because i believe that it's being used way too much as a retaliation method instead of what it's supposed to be used for it's supposed to be used so the child can have a, a great quality of life as if the father was in the home period <laughs> period you know i've heard some fathers they they would say i spend all this money i give her all this money and she's still calling me and then when I tell her no, or if I ask her, what is she doing with the money? She want to catch an attitude and say, well, oh, I don't want to provide for my kid. But even like, I love my child. I've heard this story way too much. I've heard it so much, y'all. And I just really want to talk about it. And I want to hear your thoughts on it as well. Um, I even seen something at one point in time that if the question was, should child support, should the money on child support be put on a card so they can... Um, so they could pretty much track how it's being used. That's a good question. <laughs> That's a good question. I would like to hear some answers. Uh, as far as me, I don't, I don't think, well, no, 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 no. Then again, I don't know. I don't know. It wouldn't be bad. I mean, for me, I, I could 
show you. I show you receipts where my child support is going. It's no issue. I have no issue with showing that. But some people may have an issue with it. It's all it's situational. But yeah. Um that's all I wanted to talk about. I just want to share my my thoughts and my opinions on child support and um be feel free feel free on these discussion topics like this feel free to put add your comments your your thoughts to this cuz like i said my opinions my opinion is not fact your opinion is not fact that's why we have opinions is everybody's entitled to it so yeah be be sure to share your thoughts and your opinions on it i would love to read about it and maybe even have another video um responding to what you have said who knows who knows who knows but yeah um moms i'm gonna just end it like this i'm gonna end it like this moms 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 mothers mothers y'all stop y'all stop don't use child support as a method as a um, like a manip it's basically manipulation that is that's the big umbrella right there manipulation that's what it is you want to control him stop doing that it's not cool it's not cool you're gonna reap what you sow stop being selfish not, just let it go get over it that's number one thing get over it get over him take your, take time for yourself to heal so you can move on as well despite what he did he may have done you wrong you may have done him wrong it doesn't matter the relationship is over so now all you need to do is just focus on co-parenting and one of the easiest way to co-parent from my experience is just be reasonable be reasonable and of course i understand that there are some guys out there that's not going to be reasonable and child support with with guys like that that don't want to be reasonable hey child support booms <laughs> i i i agree with it you don't want to be reasonable and don't don't add no stress you don't need no stress you know but really, let's do the right thing, ladies, by our kids. Um, you have a lot of fathers out here that want to be in their kids' lives, but they can't. They they just can't take you. So let's let's get out of our feelings. Let's get out get out of our emotions and think logically and understand that we're gonna have to deal with this man for the rest of our lives because we have a child together. And if you if your best interest is for that child, then you will do whatever it takes to make sure that his father is in his or her father is in his his or her life period so yeah that's my little spiel for today but well, tonight i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope it um sparked some questions some opinions some thoughts some suggestions and um yeah until next time you guys have a great night and i will talk to you all later bye